when there's a finite amount of resources, you know, certain people will take the jump on that, which mm -hmm. leaves a poor. I mean, doesn't that kind of answer our question already? We're here to talk about bread, lettuce, cheese, dead presidents, green. It's just money, man. It's just money. You said one of the things early on is the lack of knowledge you were responsible for, which I find curious because can you be responsible for something you don't know? Uh, yes. <laughs> Instinctive answer? Yeah. Why is it yes? <laughs> That's a good question. I mean, Is it yes? I guess I don't know. I'm second guessing if, myself. If nobody taught you and if you... I think it, as always, it's more complicated, right? So in some sense, a child is not responsible for what they've learned because it was really the adults around them who were responsible for educating them. But at the same time, as we grow in age, we become, we great, uh, attain more agency, which means we are become more responsible for ourselves. And so there's a level to say we are responsible is responsibility, you, you get blame, but you also get freedom with responsibility. So you're, so that's the, because if you're not responsible, then you're also trapped in it. Mm -hmm. And but so that's the challenge. With I that. guess I'm, I'm concerned, I'm worried about like when you're saying like the origins of poverty where like you go, your civilization is literally kind of making this up as they go, mm -hmm. you know, that you are then responsible for something that you are at the time you would think everybody's making up these rules. Uh, okay. And historically, in historical terms, prior to the industrial revolution and kind of the rise of what we call modern capitalism, you know, it, there was limited resources. So the resources, there was, it was a few that had a lot of resources and the many who had very little, uh, the fief system because of the limited resources that required there to be less the, the poor, but in sort of a, modern capitalist system. It's actually, you can argue that poverty is more in reaction to lack of knowledge, lack and lack of opportunity. And it's, it's more political than actually not that we don't have enough resources for everybody. And I like what you were saying because it kind of jumps right into the topic where you're saying when there's a finite amount of resources, you know, certain people will take the jump on that, which mm -hmm. leaves a poor. I mean, doesn't that kind of answer our question already? So, I mean, I, at first, that framework already assumes that there are finite amount of resources. Yeah. Which, which I mean, is, there are in the world, um, unless it's. But they're resources. not all mine. I mean, if if all the resources were already mined and available, and now mm -hmm. we're just fighting for who gets it, but right. we're constantly discovering new resources. Uh, we live in an age where uh, resources are also IP, technology, trademarks, uh, art. I mean, so when people are in the middle of writing software that didn't exist the day before, I, I think most people would agree that's a resource. So when they write that piece of software, that, that is a resource now available to the world that they're selling. Mm -hmm. So new resources are being created and generated on a regular basis, mm -hmm. let alone new resources being found in like, like, de like natural deposits. I mean, that's going to happen less frequently at this point. New ones are showing up. But people are definitely taking current resources and putting them together in new scientific ways and creating new things. Right. So I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I don't think it's easy to say that it's finite. But that's, mm -hmm. that's kind of what I mean in terms of, you know, it used to be, it used to be tangible, like earthly resources, if you will. And now they're sort of like, it's almost like humanity was like, wait, what if we just made up our own value instead of using gold? Yeah, we, we kind of that. Gold was a limiting. Um, it was it was a lot of work. I I I both. Uh, it's it's really hard because there's obviously a huge debate about whether the government actually was just tricking everybody, duping everybody. But at the same time, you know, people who love Bitcoin don't mind. It's not backed by gold. They're just agreeing on a value. The thing they love about it is it can't be manipulated like our money can. Mm -hmm. So I don't know that it being backed by anything really does matter. It matters more about can people just completely manipulate the system and make it be whatever they want. Mm -hmm. So, hey, we'll print twice as much money. We can control how much money is worth versus a system like that was backed by gold because ultimately gold, the only reason it was backed by gold and it was so effective is because it was, it was a calculatable, like they could calculate how much gold was in the entire world. 
Shoot, let's make water the value system. <laughs> Everyone's rich. Yeah, well, everybody's the, rich. And even the thing about Sometimes water gold. is actually one of the most valuable resources. Uh, That's like true. my biggest stock. You dip. can't eat you wanna, it. If you want to invest in a stock, I mean, I, one of the first advice I got was uh, invest in water. It's going to be hmm. uh, the future will be fought over uh, natural water. Yeah. The problem with that assumption is that it assumes that people will not come up with creative solutions. An example of that with the water issue is actually Israel. Israel produces, is actually becoming a net exporter of water through its desalination plants, which have, they have the most efficient desalination plants in the world. Desalination is using ocean water and creating it into fresh water. And historically, it took a lot of energy. But they figured out ways, technology, to make it a lot with a lot less technology. And so they actually are going to building pipelines to send it to Jordan, um, to give water to them. So that, so even water, because of human ingenuity, can go from a scarce resource, especially in the Middle East, to mm -hmm. an abundant resource. That's amazing. I did a piece of paper. I need to write it myself a note. One, sell my stock because <laughs> it's climbing right now. But remember, it's just money. <laughs>